So that was a triumphant moment. That I thought was truly the climax of my life. That's what I thought, and I was sure this is a triumphant moment. Everything is all right. And then a week later, you were having surgery with me. Yes. I did not know at that time that there was a time bomb within me and that if one did not have the good luck to contain the time bomb long enough to meet Dr. Miracle. And when I was told that I may have an operation or so, I still thought no, 91 is a pretty good age to say goodbye to the world. After the operation, I knew it was a miracle. I knew that you had performed something that brought me back to life. So at the time of this concert, when you had this pain in the left side, you had a aneurysm uh, of the aorta, which is the blood vessel that feeds the whole body, uh, that had started to leak, but was contained by the surrounding tissues, including your diaphragm, your lung, and your heart. In that situation, we have two options. There are minimally invasive options, and then there's the open surgery option, which is usually the gold standard. But the open surgery oper operation is very complex. It puts a lot of strain on your heart, your lungs, your brain, and it takes a tremendous amount of energy and physical strength to recover from and sometimes people don't recover from it. And so nowadays we have newer options using stents, either that are custom made for you, but that would require three months to make, or we have other options which we can do to create a graft for you so that we can fix it using a minim minimally invasive option. Mm -hmm. And in your case, given your age, given your independent lifestyle and the fact that you travel the whole world, um, extensively and are very physical, I felt that doing the stent graft would be a safe option, would be a feasible option, and that we can get you back to your life. And so in your case, based on your CT scans, uh, we created a stent just for you. This is a cloth material that's made out of Dacron, and to it you can see that there are stents sewn. Yes. Normally it's packaged as a tube like this, yes. and it's packaged down like this into a very tight um, compressed uh, stent that we can deliver by puncturing the femoral arteries yes. or sometimes the arteries in the arm to deliver it down. And so in looking at your CT scan, I felt that a single fenestration or a hole in this graft would be the best thing for you, and so I created one uh, based on your aorta. Uh, we needed about 18 millimeters below the bottom of the fabric to create this hole which we created and then to which we attached this small cuff to allow things to seal. Once this happened we repackaged this and we delivered it through the groin arteries up into the area where it needed to, to land Yes. and then we adjusted its location so that this hole would line up with the hole for the branch that we were worried about. And then once we did the lining up, we came again from below and we put in a stent into that artery so that it would seal in that artery here. And so now this device seals here where your aorta is normal, blood flow goes in, your aneurysm is here and ends right about here and then this seals the aorta below the aneurysm. Unbelievable. And so the blood can go in and out into the liver yeah. and out to the legs. And um, this, I felt, was the best option for you. Uh, do you have many cases of my age? 
We have a few patients your age, yes. usually because the open operation, as I yes. told you, that's been around for a long time, yes. is highest risk in the elderly pa patient, patient population. Uh -huh. I find that I'm offering this kind of a solution which, to patients your age more often. And which is, of course, then has a better chance of success. Absolutely. Yeah. If I may, I will Here. show you on a computer. Oh what we did to or what we looked at when we decided on how to fix your aneurysm wonderful wonderful so this is uh, the 3d model of your cat scan yes um, this area here is the narrow normal part of your aorta this here is your aneurysm uh, of that broad, yes? Yes, and you'll see that it's much bigger. This is a, uh, everything is straightened out so I can do measurements of distances. I, I see. This is the artery that we talked about, the celiac artery, which feeds yes. your liver, your stomach, yes. and your spleen. This is the next artery below, and you can see there's a small space between them. Yes. And this here measurement from the middle of this artery to the middle of this artery is 17.5 or 18 millimeters, which is what I used to, to make the huh. stent. In the next picture you can see the largest portion of the aneurysm and you can see that it almost takes up half of your left chest. So when I see that it looks hopeless actually. Well, Until you made it. That's uh, why we carefully evaluated this CAT scan to give you the solution that you needed. Yes, yes. The next CT shows it after the stent has been placed. And you can see now the stent is here. Yes. You can see this is the large fluid around the left lung that we dealt with later. Yes. On the next picture, you can see the stent at the most critical portion that I worried about, which is the area of the celiac artery to make sure that that stent and that artery continues to flow. So we're yeah. looking right here yeah. uh -huh. to circle and the stent coming up yes. out of the stent into the artery yes. so we can preserve flow and you can see here there is no more aneurysm it's yes. starting to heal again. yeah it's already not anymore yes. so dark yeah and then the lowest part of the stent right about here yes it was placed right above these two important branches would feed the right kidney and you can see the right kidney here yeah and this small area is the start of the artery that feeds all of the intestines and so that's how we place the stent miracle i mean it's not a miracle to you but you created a miracle within me you created something so special no i think that people of boston or from wherever they will come to see you will be filled with the love and the gratitude that i feel that you have created in me life life that is worth living, and I thank you. And that's the that, ultimate that reward for me. Yes, and I thank you. And I thank you.